one of the most commonly missed problems is one like this. It looks pretty simple. Got a square root. It's all already by, by itself. And you square both sides. And you're squaring the square root, and so it cancels out. You just get x minus 6. But now you're squaring x minus 8. Remember, that's x minus 8 times x minus 8. Write it out if you need to. But so you're going to get the x squared. Don't distribute the squared over the subtraction. You get a minus 8x and a minus 8x. And so that's that minus 16x that comes in plus 64. So we've got an x squared in here. We don't want to just start getting the x by itself because we've got an x squared and an x. It's a quadratic. So when we were doing this, we were getting everything to one side. So if you subtract the x and add 6, set it equal to 0. Subtract x, add 6. x squared equals negative 17x plus 64 plus 6 is 70. And so now, different ways of solving a quadratic. We talked about factoring first. If it's not factorable, some people like completing the square. I'm not particularly a fan of it, especially with an odd number here. Um, and then you could use the quadratic formula. Again, that's the longer method. I always look to see what multiplies to 70 and adds to 17. Quickest one to see, 7 and 10. Now it's got to add to a negative 17, so it's going to make a negative 7, negative 10. And so let's go right to it. x minus 7, x minus 10. So if those two equal 0, we set this equal to 0, x minus 7. So x equals 7. x minus 10 equals 0. x equals 10. A lot of you are going to go straight to this. Before we get done, we need to make sure we check it. Extraneous solutions could be in here. So, square root, 7 minus 6, 7 minus 8. 7 minus 8 is a negative 1. No way you can get a square root because this is square root of 1. This is not going to work out, and so our 7 is not going to work out. 10. When we plug in 10, 10 minus 6 is 4, square root of 4 is 2, and 10 minus 8 is 2, and so that checks out, and so we're all set. This next one's very difficult. I'm going to offer you two points extra credit if you can bring this in and solved into class. Um, be very, very careful because this minus 3, not underneath the radical. Two points extra credit. Take care of it. We will see you in class.